Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, to celebrate, the, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. You have come as the savior of the whole human family. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have come to reveal to us the richness of God's love and mercy. We pray to you, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You have come to give us the gift of your spirit that we might be alive with your love. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of good will. We, we praise you, you we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from the slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he. Meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephron and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord is gracious. 
gracious and merciful, and I will praise you close to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord. And oh, let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse the glory of your kingdom. And let your faithful ones bless you. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. The Lord is faithful in all his works and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are fulfilling and raises up all who are bowed down. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit. If only the spirit of God dwells in you, whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through the spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors in the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, Lord of heaven and earth, you have revealed to the little ones the mystery of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be Lord Jesus Christ.
The gospel passage begins with Jesus' hymn of praise to the Father and how the Father is concerned about even the little ones. God's love touches all peoples. And this is followed by that invitation Jesus gives to us to come to him, all you who are labor and are burdened. For he who suffered and died for our sake knows well that living the Christian life, following him can be very difficult and at times very dangerous. And so he promises to be with us, to be the source of our strength as we continue to follow him. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. With humble hearts, we come before God to speak for our needs and those of the world. that the members of the church be filled with the spirit and recommit themselves as good stewards. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the leaders and people of this great country provide adequate care for those injured in its service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those responsible for public safety, especially firefighters, police, and military personnel, come home safely to their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who are weary from the burdens of daily life find support and solace in the love of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that all who gather at this table find in their faith the strength to meet every difficulty. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving Father, your dominion is over all the earth. By the power of your spirit, answer the prayers that we offer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
pray, my sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his, all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed humans in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonders to rule in your name over all things that you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And so with the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of host, heaven and earth by all of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy that these gifts that we bring to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night when he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, my blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate this memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit, that we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with the elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with their blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis and St. Clair, and with all of the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all of the clergy and the entire people you have gained as your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give to the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Who are the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And offer each other some kind of sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world, the world have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. 
how blessed are we to be called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy burden, and I shall give you rest. Take up my yoke and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you'll find rest for your souls. Yes, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, by the light unto to seek and to find the narrow way. Be my way, be my truth, be my life, my Lord, and lead